Good evening. Well, good evening, everyone. It's alive. We are going to be opening up a lot of the new set that we'll be releasing. I believe it's Friday, the 22nd, three days from now. We have Temporal Forces. And uh, it should be pretty similar to what we saw with the Cyber Judge and the Wild Forces. Wild Force. One of those is plural. I can't remember which one. But uh, we've already sold through, I think, eight boxes. I only put 10 up for sale for the live. So if you are looking to get in a Temporal Force box, Temporal Forces box, then you may want to go ahead and uh, pick that up. But there are other packs still available. All you have to do is follow the link at the very top of the chat off to the side. Or you can go to TCAgaming.com and go to the live packs uh, section. And then anything that's uh, in that section is able to be opened up live during this video. We do not have any more heavy base. We did sell out of those. So we're going to go ahead and get started because we've got a lot of packs to open up tonight. Like I said, we've already sold through eight boxes. So, I mean, that's we're already over 200 packs into this. And the very first order we're going to have for Andrew. So, Andrew, order 5038. If you are here, you're going to be the very first box opened up tonight. Ghost, as always, he makes, he makes it in here first. Got the... Uh, Good old mod in here. James Chang, I see you. Sean, Just Yuri, John Penrose, Nick, and Ed. All right, so this very first one is no bulk, so I um, went ahead and threw away that box there. But let's go ahead and jump into it and let's see what we get. Pack number one. Ooh, starting off pretty good. What is that? It's like a Hydragon, but it's Faragaraf. Something that evolves from giraffe rig, I would assume. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Hit number one. Kind of want to uh, shift this up just a little bit. Maybe we'll shift this back just a little bit. This is hanging off the edge for whatever reason. Here we go, pack number two. Nothing too much there. Pack number three. Got an Incineroar EX. Incineroar was introduced in what, Generation 6? So it's like the Charizard for the Sun and Moon era, if I'm thinking correctly. There's a Roaring Moon. Gesture says, what's the big hit for this set? Actually, I don't know. I would assume it's one of the, the beasts or one of those cyborgs and like some kind of alternate art or whatever they're calling it, like the special art rare. Got the Incineroar full art. Set that one right there to the side. Give it its own little pile. Gen 7. Oh yeah, because XY was Generation 6. Sun and Moon's Generation 7. Man, I messed that one up pretty bad. Golly, what, what generation are we in now? Scarlet and Violet, so Sword and Shield. So I guess we're in Generation 9. Are we in 9? Sun and Moon, Sword, Shield, Scarlet, Violet. I don't think I'm missing one in there. Derek says, TCA Gaming, can you turn your mic volume up a little bit? I've got my TV on 16, can still hardly hear you. It's actually all the way up, man. I don't know if I can... Uh... Yeah, I've got it all the way up on the OBS, and it's all the way up on the Yeti mic as well. Maybe I'm just not speaking into it well. Let me know if this uh, helps out any with me just adjusting the, pos the position of the mic. I don't think I can turn it up anywhere else. If I turn it up on my desktop, that doesn't really affect it, right? Scovelin. Scovelane. So sorry if it's a little low. I've had that on a few uh, comments in my regular videos. Andrew, I think, oh yeah, this is you. <laughs> I was like, I think you're somewhere in here on one of these orders, but I guess this is the Andrew that we're talking about. Derek said, dang, maybe my hearing is just bad from years of construction. No, I don't think it's, I don't think it's just you because I've had other people uh, complain about the, the sound as well. I wouldn't think it'd be this mic. I mean, it's a well, it used to be a nice mic eight years ago, right? It's a Blue Yeti. I mean, it wasn't that expensive. It was like a, I guess it cost 80 bucks or something like that. <laughs> so, I mean, 
Got a Runiculus. About missed this one. One of those art rares. I think that's the first art rare that we've seen in the box. Nothing too crazy. Does if anyone here in the chat actually knows like the big hits, feel free to throw them down there in the comments and maybe we'll all be on the lookout for them for temporal forces. Is that a uncommon? <laughs> Roaring Moon. Man, we've had a wild ride for weather this week. We had frost this morning. Last week we were almost at 80. Actually, on my, my truck said it was 82, so I'm going to say we hit it. <laughs> it was really nice. Really nice. I mean, that was hot. I mean, we ended up, my wife got sunburnt over the weekend. Not, not too bad, but she did get she did get sunburned. I had a little bit on my shoulders. I was building my kids a clubhouse. I got the bottom level and the top level started. It's gonna be fun figuring out that whole whole thing. There's a mail tan. So Ludo's game says ancient versions of Entei. So I guess that's what we're going for. Tiki says vintage questions. Vint, vintage question here. Recently pulled and graded a first edition Rockets Mewtwo. Got the pristine ten. Nice pop four. Uh, probably gets put into the PC. But do you guys think it could pull PSA ten prices? The pristine ten probably should. It's weird. Some cards it actually brings a premium, and then other cards it doesn't really make a difference at all. I've seen some go lower. It really depends on the card. I think for that card, it'd be probably in the same range as the PSA 10, maybe a little bit higher. Kyle C says, Pokemon cards don't hit the same without the yellow borders. Yeah, everybody was uh, eerie. Huh. Looks like a pretty decent art rare. I don't know if this is like the, one of the alternates or not, but we'll stick that one over here on the left side with the full art. Yeah, I preferred the yellow borders. A lot of people were really happy praising Pokemon for switching over to the gray borders, but like I said, when it first happened, I think it just kind of makes them look like world championship cards, but and it kind of takes away a little bit of the Pokemon card identity. And that's just in my opinion, but I, I, I don't really care that much. They're still pretty cool. We are doing well, Ghost. Thanks for jumping in here again. Iron Crown EX. Getting a lot of regular EXs. Corridon. I think we have three packs left for Mr. Andrew. Andrew, once it uh, finishes out, let us know what your favorite card that we pulled was from your box. Nice, you got your first A spec. I was wondering if we were going to go the whole box without getting one. Neo Upper Energy. We'll just put it in the EX pile. Last pack. Ooh, finish off with a cool looking lick of tongue. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll run through the hits really quick. All right, so Andrew, you had these three art rares, the Meltan, Runiculous, and then the Lickitung. And then you had a bunch of EXs plus one A-spec. So there's seven hits there, 10, looks like 12 hits total. Which is pretty good, one in three. And then up next, we've got Arturo, Arturo. So Arturo, if you're here watching, let us know in the chat. He actually picked up a V-Star Universe box. So this will be one of the few mix-ups that we're going to have, at least here in the first hour or so.
Andrew says, eerie for sure, but that lick of tongue is hilarious. <laughs> Uh, this uh, wrapping actually had the Hook One Center sticker on the box, which makes it harder to sell, like on eBay, because it's like got a sticker on the box. But it's actually nice for stuff like this where we're opening it because it didn't come out of a case, but it come from the Hook One Center. And unless somebody like resealed it and then duplicated the sticker, or took the sticker off of the old box and stuck it on that other one without you know messing it up. Um, it just kind of helps attest to the authenticity, which is kind of weird if you think about it. It's kind of like those uh, not for resale stickers that you sometimes see on the old jungle theme deck cases, or uh, I've even seen them on the, the booster boxes sometimes with Fossil as well. There's Simisir V Star and Gardevoir, Radiant Gardevoir. Two hits every pack so far. Samir said, Brother, do you ship to Qatar? Yes, it should be in there because I had a had somebody who bought a lot from Qatar, and the exceptions should still be valid for that country. If not, just let me know. I won't be able to change it up tonight, but I can look into it tomorrow. Or Corio, there's that nice Zacian V. That'll probably be the hit of the box, but. I will say this, last week when we opened up that uh, the V-Star Universe box, I think there was two SARs if I'm remembering correctly, which doesn't happen often, but we have seen it. There's Mewtwo V-Star. Reminds me of Pokemon Go with that one. There's Entei. I'm already going to have to get some more sleeves. Man, these high class sets I hit, have a hit every pack. At least one hit anyways. You run through some sleeves. Is that Hisuian Samurai? Derek says Zamazenta is greater than Zacian. I don't know much about either one of them. There's a Manaphy, and then we have a Machamp V Max. Do you have 151 ETB, and how much would it be to get it shipped to Qatar? Uh, I, I do not sell out the ETBs. I've just got those set back in cases for myself. But what I have broken down for 151, I do have single packs available. Uh-oh. Got a gold card. Looks like you did hit too big. Man, this is the biggest card in the set, I think. The Giratina V-Star. Wow, last pack too. You had already hit a SAR, and it looks like you pulled the the gold Giratina V Star in this box as well. Man, what a hit! What's the anyone know the going value for this one right now? So congrats, Arturo. Order fifty thirty nine. First Timu, I think that was the box for the giveaway and there was two bangers in it. Yeah, might have been. I can't remember myself, but man, it's like <laughs> I forget pretty easily what happens in the, the previous lives. Samir, you don't ship sealed 151 products? I mean, I do some. I just, I don't ship out the ETBs. Any ETBs that I pulled packs out of, I already broke down. All right, next up we have Kenny, Temporal Forces. And if you're asking about the 151 packs that are on the website, I may have those set to only uh, open for live videos. But if you go to my eBay, which is right here, tcagaming.com, or not TCA Gaming, but right here, eBay, TCA Gaming. So if you go to my eBay store, I've got 36 pack lots of 151 packs. Guaranteed unweighed, all that good stuff, because I pulled them from sealed product myself. So I'm owner number one. Whoever buys them will be owner number two. Andrew said over 100 last he checked on that one. Well, that's pretty nice. All right, here we go. Next box. Yeah, that is pretty cool that it happened the same way last week. 
had two two big hits in the same box. Set Seeker says sixty bucks. So it has dropped off. Awakening drum. First hit. Got the A spec. We only had one A spec in the last box. Nice. Gengar EX full art. Is there an alternate rare for this one? Or like some kind of special art rare? Tell me there is for the Gengar. Man, if they didn't give Gengar another cool art on this, for this, with this, having a regular full art in there, they missed it. Otherwise, they'll probably stick it in some kind of tin or special box. Mencino. First art rare. Ludos, can you show me the art set for Temporal Forces? Yeah, I'll do that right after this. It's probably the three beasts. Oh, maybe not. Just one, two beasts and the two cyborgs, I guess. Yeah. Here's the Maridon. Sweet Gengar, yeah. I like the Gengar. <laughs> I mean, that artwork is definitely lacking, but it's still a full art Gengar EX. I mean, he has 310 HP, so the kids are going to like it. It's Gengar, so it's going to satisfy a lot of uh, ghost po Pokemon collectors. Whoop Trio. Samir, if you go to my eBay for TCA Gaming, right on there, I've got the sealed uh, booster packs. It's just lots of 36. That's really all that I offer. I don't think I've got any Japanese boxes up there. I've just been kind of holding on to those. I picked mine up really early, so I'm, I'm pretty confident. And I've got some cases too. I'm really confident in those that uh, they haven't been tampered with, which it's hard, to, it's hard to know for sure with Japanese products. So I've just been kind of holding and sitting on them. I don't have a lot. First time, I can't wait to get this pizza delivered right now. <laughs> I, I thankfully already ate. I had some cookout. You guys are here. Cookout originated in North Carolina. I'm pretty sure it did. So I don't know if it's spread to many states around, but man, it used to be like a really good deal. Like $4.99 got you a, like an actual double cheeseburger, not frozen. Like something that was cooked. Two pieces of cheese, you didn't have to pay extra. Well, I guess you have always had to pay for extra for the cheese, but not too much. You had, um, it was like 20 cents back then extra for the, for the slice of cheese. You got two sides, and then you also got a large drink. And then if you had two extra bucks, you could buy a t-shirt. <laughs> $2 extra. It's went up since then, but they're still pretty cheap. Maybe this left side will have, have more hits than the right. Charger bug. Maybe we can hit all the art rares tonight. So Derek said, I love those solid background colorful arts. They pop so much. Yeah, I think some of them really do. I, I know what you mean by that because I want to say it was like, I can't even think, it's the grass starter from the Sun and Moon era. era. I remember back then the rainbow rares were so washed out, people wanted the full arts. Rainbow rares were much harder to pull, so their value still held pretty well. But um, the full arts just had so much like direct color to them. And then the rainbow rares, they weren't really rainbow. They were just almost kind of like a silver doled out type thing last um, during that, during sun and early, at least early sun and moon. They become much more closely, uh, I guess you could say, indicative of the name for rainbow rare as we got towards the end of the fall, the next era. Man, what in the world? Cypher Maniacs code breaking? Did I get that right? <laughs> Got two A specs this box. You know, y'all y'all start talking about food again. I, I might get a little hungry. I'm trying to remember to blink tonight. Cause for some reason whenever I get done, my eyes are so tired, but it's like I haven't done a whole lot. Even last week we only had an hour stream. It's like as soon as I got done, it's like my eyes just wanted to just go to sleep, even though my mind was still kind of like racing. 
third art rare here we didn't we didn't hold up on that too long got a nice little grotto got the Merrells. looks like a what is that starly <laughs> go said too many gray names <laughs> That's all right. I don't offer a whole lot for the memberships anymore. We haven't been doing too much vintage. I mean, really, I mean, we've got Legend Maker up. You know, that one has the discount, but I think that's the only one that has a discount on it. I definitely like the fact that the old EXs, like you're talking about EX era, Generation 3, had that silver border with the Cosmos hollow. I mean, that was, that was pretty nice. And then... You had the uppercase EXs, which meant they were basic Pokemon in the black and white era. And then you had it carried over into the Megas and such and X and Y. And now we've got the lowercase EXs again. So yeah, looks like that one evolves. I wonder if, are there basic ones? Yeah, but that one, they can be basic or evolutions. I guess in uh, maybe black and white, they could have been both. But I'm pretty sure that all of the EXs in, like the lowercase EXs in Generation 3, like if it was a Waylord EX, it had to evolve from a Waylord, if that makes any sense. Or it looks like this, you know, a Scissor EX just evolves from a Scyther. So it'd be more closely related to like the Gen 5, 6 EXs. Andrew said, are those Gym Heroes and Gym Challenge PSA 10 slabs on your eBay site Wade packs? Yes, they are. They were weighed supposedly light, but we never pulled all the hollows, so there might be. <laughs> what There's like one or two packs, I think, from Gym Challenge, and I think there's one from Gym Heroes that would technically have a hollow, but I, I have no idea. They're most likely going to be light. Very likely, like odds 24 to 1. <laughs> Look at that Raging Bolt EX gold card. That does look pretty well done. Quality of the card. Oh, man, I think you got a 10 there. I had this thing all zoomed. You guys must have been looking at it like this. Sorry. <laughs> let's, uh, let's pull it back just a little bit. A nice little texture too. Condition looks pretty dang good. Congrats on your Raging Bolt. Kenny. I tried sending off some of the the light long base set packs and that's those are the ones that got rejected or whatever. Wasn't too happy about that. Last pack for Kenny. Got a Gengar EX. Finishing not too bad. All right, so we'll run through the hits one more time. You got three regular art rares, different from the previous guy. You got two A specs and six EXs. And then you have one gold card, one trainer full art, and then one regular full art. Kind of similar to the previous box, other than, you know, the extra A spec and gold card. Matt says, I give it a 10. Anthony says, that's a nice looking giraffe. Man, you know he's got to be super top heavy up there with that cloud around his mouth. He's already going to have trouble getting to, getting down to the water hole. Now he's got to deal with that. It's like a Destructo Disc mustache or something. All right. Next up we have, I think this is Richard. So Richard also picked up a Temporal Forces box, but he wants to keep his bulk. So i got to make sure that I do not put that in with the rest of the bulk. See, Child Love is in here. Big Hugh from Brazil. What does that mean? <laughs> what does Big Hugh mean? Wait, I think last week you told me how to say this, and I think I just said it incorrectly. <laughs> but my bad I can't remember pack one is a dud there we go I'm betting the first hit is going to be a full art what do you guys think 
Zamir said, if I buy a live opening 151 pack, would you open now? Uh, it would get open tonight. I, I do open the packs in order. And right now we've got at least, <laughs> I think like five Temporal Forces boxes, uh, some Paul Dean Fates, and then whatever else has been bought since the beginning of the stream uh, in front of you. So yes, you would get them open tonight. You just, you might have to just hang tight for a little bit because there are several orders in front of you. I was wrong. It was not a full art. Ooh. Now that looks nice. Iron Boulder. I guess that's the ancient or the future version of Terrakion. Going to match up with the regular EX. That's pretty cool. Hug with typo. Oh. <laughs> Maybe that's a little better. Big, big hug from Brazil. I would have never got that if you hadn't put that there in the chat. Ooh, look at that. Gouging Fire EX. So we've got the ancient version of Entei. I said the full art was going to be the first one. It was the second and third one. Come on now. There's the Saul's Buck. I wonder if we'll get the Deerling in this box as well. That was a nice three packs in a row there. Man, I was glad that we had the live on Tuesday last week because by the time we got around to Wednesday, man, my lips were chapped. I wonder if it, ha wonder if it happened because of this. It was pretty dry around here, though. Looks like something cool in this pack. What is that? Farigaraph EX. Is this like a special type of rarity? It's like white looking background type card. Man, the right side of your box is, I mean, it's pretty stout. Just so you guys know, these boxes tonight are actually coming from three different cases. I think it was like two boxes from an open case that I had. And then there was a full case of six boxes. And then there was two more. Because I only put, like I said, I put ten uh, boxes up for grabs for the live tonight. Anthony Rusty, do you know a middleman service in Europe that can help with shipping cards to the USA? <clears throat> I should, but actually I don't. I located three French birthday Pikas and I'm making a deal on one. He won't ship to the U.S. But said something will to third party. Sorry, there's a big heart over that word, and for some reason I can't figure out what it is off of the first guess. Raging Bolt EX. So he did pretty good on the right side. We're just going to have to see with this left side if, it, uh, if you're going to pull anything good after all that. Anthony says, we'll ship to a third party that can send to me. I'm sure there are people who do it. I don't I don't know. I would almost post like on Instagram or in some kind of forum and uh, just possibly ask cuz I'm sure there's there are. It's just I stay away from the middleman stuff myself cuz I get asked quite a bit to to do to do those types of things. Uh, and I know who you can, you know, here in the US. You've got like the big companies like Ship My Cards and PWCC, and then there's a few other random people as well. But in like other countries, no, I really don't know. We did match up the Deerling with the Salzbuck, so that was kind of nice. We did that a lot with the um, was it the Wild Force boxes? I think it was Wild Force, not Cyber Judge. I can't. I can't really tell. It kind of. It shows nature, so I'm gonna say it was wild force. Wild forces. The left side is living up to how we thought it would be. There's a nice little Gengar EX. Maybe we'll pull a gold card or something like that. That would be cool. Explorer's guidance. 
pull a full art. That's four. Well, four, I guess, with like texture. Good old Wug Trio. I wonder how long Wug Trio is going to be pushed. That card gets all kinds of prints. Maximum Belt. Got another A spec. Well, we got them back. I pushed them off with my finger. My son's birthday party, or his four year old birthday party, is this Saturday. Which his birthday isn't till what's today? Today's the 19th. So I guess it's on Monday. I think it's Monday. There's X Cadrill. Uh, it Simon says, curious on the business side of things, do you make much from the sale of booster packs or you pretty much sell them for what you buy them at? I mean, I don't make much. Sometimes I make, I do better with like the vintage stuff. Unless, you know, your your site gets hacked and, and you get hit with all kinds of fees. Well, the site didn't get hacked. The guy paid with stolen credit card information. So, I had a bunch of chargebacks. And I've got one where I shipped out two of them. And I'm probably going to lose it because PayPal apparently doesn't cover credit cards anymore. Or there's only like certain situations that they do. So that's kind of weird. But um, now in a box like this, I mean, I paid right around 90 bucks, And I'm selling it for 110 uh, I think that's the price that I'm paying. So I am making a little bit of money. Um, factor in the shipping and the fees and everything. It's, it's really not a whole lot of money. I'm just kind of doing it to more connect with you guys. Because for you know, a couple hundred bucks profit that I might make tonight. I'd much rather be, you know, just laying there with my wife, uh, enjoying my evening with my family. But, you know, you guys you put in a lot of support over the years for me here on YouTube. So I want to try to connect with you at least once a week. And that's what these uh, these Tuesday night lives are for. And there'll be times when I can't do the lives where I'm going to take breaks, almost like a season type thing. But um, it's always fun just to get in here and chat and you know, I meet some of you. There's like some new faces, and and a lot of times there's you know people who've been in here for a very long time, and I always appreciate the support you guys bring. All right, Richard. Now, when we were doing those vintage boxes where we were breaking like a base set box or two uh, a night, man, yeah, that, that was pretty good money in that. You can only do that for so long, though. Oh, let me put that in here. Gotta make sure you put the bulk with his. My son's first is on Easter this year. What is, when is Easter though? Today's the 19th, 25th. Was it, is it the 31st? The 25th? What am I thinking here? If Monday's the 25th, Sunday's the 24th. Yes, yeah, so was it March 31st this year at Easter? All right, we got a big one next. We have Joshua, and he has two temporal force boxes. Got one. We got two. Is that too big of a shadow? We'll just set them off to the side. It's Simon says, that's cool. I assume you don't make too much when a new set drops. It's all about selling that vintage. Yeah, and I'd move some boxes on eBay at 110. If it wasn't for the subsidy that I get, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, even at 110, you know, I'm priced $10 higher than the than the other guys at 100 bucks. And you take out the eBay fees, the shipping. I mean, you're really losing money. <laughs> like, there's no point in selling them at that price. I'd rather just sit on them, like I did with most of my. Uh, Fusion Strike and chilling around. I just wait till I can sell for a 120, 130, 140, 150 a box, you know. It takes a while, but, you know, I'd rather just sit on it. I, I've got a couple cases set back of all the Sword Shield sets, like Evolving Skies and that kind of stuff. I'll make more money on my last two sets than the first 50 that, I, or the, the last two cases in the first 50 cases that I sell, which is just kind of crazy to think about. Like if you could just wait and 
every set has in the past inevitable inevitably went up but you don't know for sure that's going to continue to happen like that john says so weird that easter isn't in april and it doesn't always come in april but it, um, it is weird that it, it can change so drastically year to year Yeah, thanks for confirming it was the 31st, guys. Gulf side, I appreciate the fact that uh, you look forward to watching these live. Sorry, last week was only an hour. Just here, Rusty, do you remember your very first Pokemon booster pack? Ooh, that's a good one. Man, I don't know. I think the first booster pack that I can remember was probably a booster box. It was Neo Genesis first edition. My dad bought it for me. 85 bucks at the flea market. I remember opening that whole thing. I didn't pull the Lugia, but I did pull, I think, both Typhlosions. One of the Meganiums. Maybe one of the Feraligators. I can't remember. I remember. There's very few Watsy packs I remember opening as a kid. But I do specifically recall opening a Neo Destiny pack. Pulling the shining noctowl and when I saw the three stars it's just like I remember where I was I was in the back of the van with my mom we were getting ready to we're going across a bridge we had just left Walmart and I was getting ready to get on the interstate with her and when I saw it I was just like this is three stars you know it's like my heart started pumping and it's one of those things that you just don't forget because I didn't know what that was walking wake ex got our first full art Matthew says, what vintage box are you going or hoping to break next? I don't know. It's uh, These past few vintage boxes have been really slow. Haven't had a lot of interest in them. A few of them I lost a lot of money on, like the EX Team Rocket Returns. Uh, that one that one was a tank for sure uh, in losing money. But the base set, as slow as it sells sometimes, it actually still did pretty good. The heavies at $800 apiece. Um that really helps out even though i didn't i haven't sold through all the lights i can move those kind of here and there and you know i still make a little bit of money on those boxes so i don't know it's it's hard for me to deviate from something that's making money that you guys are buying which is like the base set versus opening up another ex era box where i mean we didn't even open up a single pack of legend maker I've still got 15 packs. We did sell through a decent amount of it, but I'm just sitting on 15 unweighed booster packs, you know, from a booster box where I could have sold the booster box already, you know, probably for slightly less than, you know, what I've been selling the packs for, you know, times 36. And you know, even after you subtract out the fees and that kind of stuff. But, you know, it's a guaranteed sale. You're going to sell all 36 of them. All right, there we go. I don't promote much anymore. I do some here and there, but every now and then I'll send out like offers or whatever and you know, just move product. African veteran said I recently called an LGS to return booster boxes a few months ago and they turned me down. I mean, I turned you down too. Like if you wanted, if you bought booster boxes and you tried bringing them back, I mean, I don't take returns for that kind of stuff. Sorry, African veteran. <laughs> That's uh, kind of one of those things where once they sell it, they move on, they buy more product. That money's done. It's probably already put into something else. If you wanted to, like, if there was something wrong with them, you know, like, obvious tampering maybe, but most of the time people, I mean, there's no reason really to, to tamper with sealed product. I get product in all the time straight from sealed cases that has loose wrap that you know i mean super baggy i had some guy message me saying that he that four of his packs were obviously resealed they were so bad he had to put like he was he was having to uh, pull the glue off and i'm like no like i am owner number one <laughs> i had, i do not have time to reseal i don't know anybody who does like nobody's gonna be resealing your two dollar pack and you know they don't like to hear that you know and of course i don't word it that way i word it a little bit more nicely more kindly just kind of letting them know i know there's a lot of people out there 
who have been scammed in the past. It does happen, but I can guarantee mine aren't. You know, my, my packs are legitimate. Derek says, do you promote it all? Um, sometimes, but for the most part, no, I do not. Hippocratic Hippo asks, what company prints the current Pokemon cards? What was that Millennium? Millennium Print Group or whatever? Nintendo? Pokemon America? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Somebody out there is printing stuff. It's not me. I've never been to a print facility. Set Seeker. First pack for me would have been Base Set Pack. Gosh, I know I opened some, but I just can't remember it. Matthew says, what are the hits in Legend Maker? You know, like a Mew EX. Um, Salvatore. There's some uh, gold stars. What are the gold stars? There's an Arcanine X, EX. And there's an Aerodactyl. There's the Muse. Shows the Bennett. I should know the gold stars. I think we talked about them, but I'm having a, a little bit of a, a brain poof moment. Now, if you still want a move seal product, offer to sell it back to the store. You know, they may buy it, especially if they can get it at a price cheaper than, you know, what was, you know, at their distributor. Because it's going to be hard to compete with uh, selling online. If you can get 80 cents on the dollar for your box, then it's kind of a win-win. I do have base set boxes left. Derek says, yes, I love when you send offers. It's been a while. I, I was doing it pretty often. Hey, Cardboard Kingdom. What is up, man? Two more packs, and then we're on to box number two for Joshua. Joshua, I didn't ask, but are you here? Are you in the chat? I think this is Trainer Josh, isn't it? Maybe, it's, maybe it's, I'm thinking of someone else. Iron Leaves EX. First time we were rusty, how could you? LOL reseal his modern $2 pack. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? I was like, I, t I, I, I tell him, like, just open the packs. You'll see. You'll get regular amount of hits in them, I promise. And that's pretty risky because these are usually, like, 12-pack lots. And you guys know a 12-pack lot could have nothing in the 12 packs. Most likely it's going to have two or three hits, maybe more if you're lucky, you know, four or five, something like that. But it doesn't happen uh, too often that you uh, you get skunked. But, I mean, it can. 12 packs is it's not a huge amount. Derek says, Rusty is oh, Ranging Bolt EX Full Art, which we uh, we saw this one already earlier. I feel my lips getting a little chap already. Derek, uh, Rusty is signed to deliver automatically built into orders over $400. What middleman do you use? <clears throat> so, I don't, I don't use any middleman. But, no, I think on eBay, it's... Um, Signature is built in for over like 700, but for my insurance, I have to do it for over 400. So you buy a combination of items and it totals over $400. If, if, or if it's between four and $700, seven, or it might be 750, I can't remember. Now go in and manually add signature. The Regis, yeah. Oh, so Regice, Regirock, and Registeel. Those would be the three gold stars in Legend Maker. Yeah, I got stuck on the dogs, and I was like, no, it's not the dogs, it's power creatures. We're not the dogs, the beasts, right? The ultra beasts. We're not the ultra beasts, just the beasts. Some argue that it's cats, some argue that it's a dog, some say it's just beasts, but who knows, right? Maybe it's a combination of both. Here's Litten. Who else is in Litten's artwork here? Looks like some Remoraids, a Meowth. You guys see anything? Is that a Pokemon? Is that a Voltorb right there or a Pokeball? Who knows, right? <laughs> Might be some other ones hidden in there. All right, Andrew says, I've got a Shadow's Charizard sitting in my binder along with a first edition Venusaur. They are from when I was 12. I think they're, you, or think they're worth grading realistically in five conditions for both. I mean, you could if you just want to go ahead and do it and 
that way you have it in a case but if you never want to sell them i wouldn't do it because you but you might be more likely to sell them because then you have more options with something that's graded because you could just send it really to anybody and they'll sell that for you put it into the vault anything where if it's raw you don't have that but you don't have as many options john can you take bulk out of my order TCA 5043, I accidentally hit keep bulk when making purchases. Oh, you're the last one. Uh, yeah, can you send me an email, John? That way I make sure to refund you back your two bucks. Cause I, or it might be six bucks. I can't remember. Because the shipping will drop down. To, it should drop down to four ninety nine if you're in the USA. If you're outside the USA, then it'll be a little bit more. But... You would get more refunded back if you're outside of the USA. But that way I can send you a refund too. Dylan said, are you left-handed? No, I am right-handed. Set Seeker, I remember having all three big hitters and two Zards. I think I sold it to my neighbor for 15 bucks. Man, if you had the Charizard back in the day, you, I mean, dude, you were the man. Pokey Trainer Josh is here. Just now getting around to the chat, but uh, we all we're all rooting for you. We've seen one gold card so far, but that's it. Anthony, curious, but do you think there's a sealed case of 2000 Team Rocket? If so, what a price could that be? Yeah, I'm sure there is. <clears throat> Just six times the the 13 or six times the uh, the price of a box, which I think is around like. Between 11 and 13 right now. Maybe a little bit more if it's first edition. Just because Team Rock is a little bit harder to find. But it its price usually runs pretty close with base. Which I wouldn't sell them for that long right now. Like I think some people have asked me for base set boxes. And I've been like between 15 and 16. Just because, man, the ones I have left, they're, they're in so such nice condition. Like I want... Somebody like one of the major grading companies to say that they're going to grade these things, and if they do, man, I am on it. I've got some some examples I am sending in to be graded. Although I about want to hand them in. First time we definitely could miss on twelve. Oh man, I've already forgot what we're talking about here. Derek says, I mean like ship station or whatever. Like ship ship my cards. I don't I don't use them or anything like that. But um, I use pirate ship. Like I use them to buy labels. Cause that's real nice. You can pay up like one thousand dollars ahead of time and just kind of like a preloaded credit card. So you don't have to have a bunch of different transactions for your shipping. Ghost says the Registeel Gold Star is his favorite of the three. John said, I missed my box, but you probably got to watch it, Ghost. There's the Torterra. Anthony, the only gold star that matters is the gold star Pika. That's a hot take. <laughs> gold star Pika is pretty cool, but there are, um, there are a bunch of gold stars that people value much more highly than the Pikachu. Matthew said, have you ever opened any Shadowless boxes? I have not. I have got... There's Morty's Conviction. We've got a Hero's Cape. I've got a short crimp and a long crimp box in my collection. But I've never opened one. John says, the order is under Richard. Yeah, I think I've got you. Because yours is the only one with bulk in it, I think, so far tonight. Derek L says graded boxes would be sweet. I mean, there's a lot of liability to that, but can you imagine getting a 10 on a base set box? <clears throat> yeah. I think it would change the pricing market for vintage boxes, possibly even modern boxes. Because right now, there's not a whole lot of difference between a super minty case fresh box and one that's beat all to crap because people just want the packs inside to open up. African veteran says there's just going to create another cash cow for pe people to profit on. 
Yeah, but I mean, I think there's, I mean, I believe there should be a difference in price for the, the minty boxes. I mean, look how much the price difference is for even just the, the sealed packs. I like to preserve stuff as much as I can. And, you know, I know that's kind of lame while I'm sitting here ripping, <laughs> ripping boxes, ripping packs uh, super fast on a, on a live stream channel. But, like the vintage stuff, if I could keep as many Watsy boxes as I wanted, I mean, I would have a ton more than I do currently have set back. Chat hot. But the way it is, the value really comes from what can you get by selling the individual packs. And the real, the real driving force behind the individual packs is what can you pull? How fun is it to open? I think there are some cool things on the way coming that that will be graded soon. I just haven't heard any rumors about boxes at a major grading company, or at least a major trading card company. All right, let's go over Joshua's hits. I don't know why that's there. We had four regular art rares. Unless there's some in here that I just stuck in the wrong stack. There's a bunch of EXs and A specs. Oh, yeah, there's that Shiftry. Wrong stack. And then we had five full arts. Three for the trainers. Got both Mortys, a Salvatore, a Walking Wake, and a Raging Bolt. All right, Joshua, I really appreciate the business as always. You've been uh, buying quite a bit lately. There it is. Pokey Trainer Josh says the Gengar's Morty is what I wanted. Well, great. I'm glad to hear that, dude. I believe this next order is fairly large. Yeah, we got Michael who bought two Temporal Forces boxes and 20 Paldean Fates packs. So I'm going to open up the Paldean Fates packs first just so that we've got a little uh, mix up here. And then we'll open up both of your Temporal Force boxes. So, Michael, if you're in the chat, let us know. Um, and good luck, man. The Pokey Crib says, I just opened my base set heavy pack that I bought from you. All right. All right, Crib. What'd you get? What'd you get, man? Pack one. We have a, uh, a Dumptress, right? <laughs> A Raichu that is super clean. Great. I'm glad to hear that it is clean too. So far I've heard Mewtwo, Raichu, and then the Polyrath and Magneton. There's a Glamora EX. But well, congrats, man. <laughs> Do you plan on grading your Raichu? Or you're just going to sleeve it up and put it into a binder John said I should have waited an hour before I ordered my box are the uh, are the temporal force boxes still available on the site I'm just curious Ooh, nice gold car chin pow ex Anthony says, what are first edition Team Rocket packs selling for? I'm not too sure. Like I said, I think it would be similar to base set. It's harder to weigh, though. So like the heavies, in my opinion, should bring a little bit of a premium. The Klotzar EX. Bucky Crib says, yeah, I'm grading every single card. The centering is perfect. Glad to hear that, dude. Let us know what you get when you grade it. There's a Palmy. Horatio Kane. Do you think they will bring back real all parts? Like where they're just in the set? I don't know, man. It might have just been a sword shield thing, you know. I guess it started at the end of Sun and Moon. Unless you go all the way back to Shining Legends with the Mewtwo. Uh, the Test Tube Mewtwo being the first one. Or was the Gyarados Breakpoint? Was that before that? I can't remember.
see if first edition team rocket packs were at 300 no i think it would be more than that but i could be wrong i haven't bought a first edition team rocket box in a while i know when i was selling them i was getting about 13k for the sealed boxes we sold about five i think it was about five of them either early this year or late last year Is that a Charizard? We got a Zard. Got another Glamora EX, and then one more Paldian Fates, and then we're on to Temporal Forces. And then Robert, if you are in the chat, you're going to be after uh, Michael. Well, like I said, we've got two more boxes to open up for him. There's the Great Tusk EX. Man, those <laughs> Paldian Fates packs. They hit pretty good. There was a bunch of hits in there. We'll just review those really quick. Bam. 20 packs. All right, I'm going to set those to the side. First Temporal Forces box. John says I pulled both theory cards the other night. Put that to Mr. Ghost. Nothing there. Horatio Kane says, I think the lack of true alts from too many galleries in Scarlet and Violet is why prices aren't crazy. But I mean, it could be that or just, you know, plentiful product. Like, I was, I mean, I was allocated, you know, technically with Temporal Forces, but I still got my full allocation, and I'm sure these are going to be readily available in time. Set Seeker says, where are vintage priced prices headed? I think it depends more on the item because some items have done really well over time. Other items not so much. Some have dropped really bad. But I don't think anyone really knows. I'm still pretty bullish on my vintage stuff, otherwise I'd sell it. I mean, I've got a lot of high-end vintage items that I'm just sitting on. You know, it's in my personal collection. If I thought it was going to zero, might as well sell it and then buy back later. But still just kind of sitting on it. There's your Relicanth. Anthony says, no idea what to do after finishing my collection goals. Probably buy Sealed Watson. Yeah, especially if it's satisfi satisfying to you. Just save up, buy a sealed box, set it on the shelf so you can see it, and then save up for another one. You know, set set realistic goals that you can achieve and ones that don't make you want to sell everything will put you in a spot where you have to because you spent too much money. Matitude, what's up everyone? Just got off work. Glad I could catch the live. Good to see you in here, Matitude. Derek Hill, but I guess that goes for everything nowadays. When you open a new pack and half the cards are shiny. Yes, several reverse hollows and a hollow guaranteed per pack. Horatio says, Any, anyone else hear loud bass on the stream? Well... You shouldn't. There, there's no loud bass here. Something like that. What do you think it's like? Me hitting the table? Somebody else said the same, but I don't know where that would be coming from. There's Maridon. Unless it's the fan from the mini fridge, but it doesn't seem that loud. All right, hoping the left side of the box is a little bit more kind. We've almost made it through two rows of a, a five, row, five row box.
Horatio said, I finished every alter, alternate art in a PSA 10 from Sword Shield. Now my next goal is to get a first edition Charizard and, a, and in a PSA 3 or higher. You can do it, man. And an African veteran says he doesn't hear it. All right, good. Horatio Kane said, it's hitting the table. All right. Sorry, man. <laughs> I've got this thing, it's like where the uh, this little mic here is attached. It's like on the other side of the table, and it's like cushioned by play mats because I'm pretty rough with things. But I guess it's I guess it's not working. John says now I have to buy new speakers. <laughs> Maybe if I can keep it consistent, it'll sound like music. Open the pack. Maybe it's where my arms are resting on the table because I rest like these two arms when I'm just opening the packs right here. But I'm glad some of you don't hear it. <laughs> I'm sorry for the ones that is blowing your speakers out. Anthony said the only collection goal I'll probably won't achieve anytime soon is a PSA 10 Venusaur. Kind of give, giving up on that at the moment. What from what set? I mean, you're talking about base first edition. Eric said, "I don't know." Now we're all deaf. Is that from where I tapped the Yeti? I'm sorry, guys. Maybe that's what you guys were referring to. Ashton said, "Oh, y'all are listening on headphones." Derek said, "It's a little better now that you moved the mic, Rusty." I mean, I touched it. I didn't. I didn't move it much, but I'll try to be more conscious. African said, "Unplug your headphones and listen on speakers. It's better." <laughs> Set seeker said, "I only need about thirteen different arts for sealed Watsy. Huge endeavor to finish, but almost there." Are you doing like every variant? Mimikyu or a Mimic Brew, right? Or Mimic -a Brew. How do I say that? Thanks for the super chat, man. He said, "What's up? Good luck with the pool tonight, my hero." Definitely appreciate it, man. You have a, you definitely have a unique style of video. It's, it can be intriguing. If you guys haven't watched his channel, you should probably go check it out. It's kind of cool. He comments on different videos and stuff. He gives advice here and there. But uh. Kind of remind me of my brother the way you act. <laughs> you just got a you got a goofy way of uh, pulling things together, but you got decent video editing skill. And the only reason I say decent because it's way better than mine. But you've got a uh, you've got people like Pat Flynn in this space too, which are just like up there, you know. And you got Pokemon Classics with that crazy intro. But I like your intro with the uh, whatever it is. It looks like some kind of coffee thing, but I'm gonna say it's hot chocolate because I don't like coffee. Hopefully that didn't blow you guys out either. All right, next box. We're still with uh, Mr. Michael. Remember, he bought two boxes and 20 Paul Dean Fates. But again, thank you for the super chat. Definitely appreciate that. Eerie. Eerie. I'm going to say Aerie, just because it's like, cause, I mean, it could be, if you put a K and an A, you got Erica, right? So let's say Era. Aerie. Never mind, I don't even know. Set said, most are PSA graded packs. It'd be kind of tough then, especially because they don't recognize all the different variations. African veteran said, I'll have to check it out as someone in the industry. <laughs> Mimic Hay Brew says, bro, I love coffee. <laughs> nah, not my thing, but I tasted it once. It didn't taste that great. <laughs> Sorry. 
But I could see how people could get addicted to it if it's got like that caffeine stuff in it, man. Because uh, first time I ever had a monster, like it was awful. And then I ended up, every now and then I would just drink one when I had to make like a twelve-hour drive somewhere, and I just want to step. I love beef jerky, and I just sip a, sip on one of those, and and it, caffeine just makes me super talkative. But now I like to drink those things a couple times a week. And I don't know why they don't taste that great. They kind of taste like poison going down my throat, but I don't know. I, I blame it on the caffeine. My brother loves coffee. Now he, man, he'll pick up pine needles out of the wood and be like, this makes a great tea, bro. And then he'll, he'll turn something else into like this ground coffee, which I think now he just drinks everything black. He's it's changed like drastically on, on that, on that end. Ooh, Gouging Fire EX. Got a gold card. This is our second gold of the night. First one, I don't even remember the name of it. It was the giraffe looking one that was with Raikou. Anthony said, African veteran on many. PSA 9 Black Star Venusaur. Thought about cracking a couple to send to CGC to try to get a 10 there. <coughs> Good luck, man. It's. I've sent in over 50 straight out of like the little sealed packets. Never once got a 10 on the Venusaur. I did manage to pull, I think, two EV Black Star promos in a 10, but I sent in almost 1,200. It was something crazy with them. African veteran. Seems like he's echoing. He says he doesn't recommend recommend that you might lose a lot of money. Now, if you're happy with just a regular CDC 10, I mean, you could try the cross, but even still, it's not going to bump the price too much at a regular CDC 10. There's a lot of value in the PSA 10 because of how low pop it is and the people who collect that particular card. Just to give you an example, like the Giovanni's Persian on the PSA side, um, it's pretty expensive because there are people who collect the Gym Challenge Hollow set, but the Giovanni's Persian is very hard to get in a PSA 10. A pristine 10, which should technically be a little bit better right in price, um, I sold one of those in auction for somebody, and it didn't bring anywhere near the regular PSA price because you don't have the same amount of people going after that particular card to complete their registry. I think in time it could be, but if you're uh, if you just want that 10 for your personal collection. You know, and you think it's worth a shot, you can try it. But I wouldn't expect it to bring added value for something like that. If you hit a pristine 10, that would be that would be interesting. That would definitely be interesting. But I don't know if we'll ever see one of those. Mr. Mime is French. You can use... Chicory nut as a coffee replacement. Hinch chock full of nuts. Chicory nut? Is that, is that similar to a hickory nut? Hickory nuts? I don't know how you get a coffee taste out of that. Andrew Barsla said, please do more impressions of your brother. <laughs> I've got three. Well, like I said, one is passed, but the other two are pretty funny guys. They're very outgoing. I'm not actually a very outgoing person. I'm not timid, but at the same time, I'm using a quiet. Anthony said I could always buy more. <laughs> Mimic, Mimic K Brew, you pull Iron Crown SIR yet? I don't think so. Somebody in the chat would probably know a little bit better. <laughs> Mr. Mime is French. If you have never had a cup, cappuccino made from an espresso machine that costs like $2,000, you have missed out on one of God's great potions. I do like Coco Amours, which is like almost no caffeine mixed in with like this Swiss powder that you mix with milk and ice and tastes like a really thick chocolate milkshake, but has a different taste to it. It's super smooth. Definitely isn't like a, a Wendy's Frosty, much better than that. But that's about as coffee as I get. It's got a little hint of coffee in there. Anthony Rusty, trade me your PSC 10 Venusaur. I'll give you a base set Pidgey for it, <laughs> right? CGC 10 Black Star Venusaur. Black Star Venusaur is top two. 
the guy in Cali who owns a PSA 10 wants 36k. I said not paying that and left it alone. Yeah, 36k is high. I would have thought for sure 25 would have got it from that other guy. African veteran said instant cappuccino is better than one from a machine, in my opinion. Got coffee rants going on now, huh? Set secret TCA. What is your favorite item in your entire collection, or maybe something you have gotten rid of? I mean, it's probably going to be, you know, like the the first edition base set uncut sheets. There are cards that I would sell after I would sell that thing, like my dad's base set Charizard, or my brother's Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon is beat up, or my daughter's uh, Black Label Charizard that she pulled. Mr. Rhyme is French. If I had many variations in the real stuff, it's clearly better than instant. Instant can be great, though. <laughs> well, I'm a I'm supposedly allergic to seafood, so I don't eat like the crab legs or lobster or you know that kind of stuff. Shellfish. There's certain seafood that's fine. Like I can eat regular fish, but if it come in a shell, I think that. So, you know, I was allergic to it when I was a kid, and it's one of those allergies where you can die from it. So I haven't messed with it, but I've been told that you know that stuff is really good, and but I don't miss it because I've never really tasted it, and I'd rather not get real expensive taste with seafood, especially since I'm nowhere near the ocean. I think it's gonna be like that with coffee. I could see how you know somebody might want it and uh, want to have it all the time, but since I don't. No, I'm not, I have no reason to get started on it. Put that ghastly over there. That's the wrong pile, isn't it? It's like the A specs should have their own pile. Got some full arts. Got one gold. And then that weird looking Wug Trio. All your hits are going to have to go into a bigger baggie. Derek said Rusty would like coffee. It had like 10 creams and sugars, I bet. Yeah, maybe. Maybe if it smelled good. Yeah, I love me some chocolate milk. Derek said some even just taste like chocolate. Yeah, I could do that. I mean, I can put, I can put away some chocolate milk. Oh, but there's no caffeine in, when you mix it in with Hershey chocolate syrup, so it's like even better. Like I tried finding a monster without caffeine. Um, but apparently they discontinued the unleaded version in it was like 2014 or something which I guess it makes sense like why would you have an energy drink that doesn't have caffeine but for me that would have been perfect alright let me refresh this let's see if we got any orders in here okay so I see an order from oh wait Robert I've got yours right here so let's do Robert's order first forgot about that because he put his in right before the video started and then after that I think uh, Tommy you're gonna be you'll be the next guy with an order in all right where are we at it Simon says if you could have a booster case of any set what would it be Ooh. I mean base first edition because you could just sell that and buy whatever you wanted but I think it'd be cool to see a legendary collection case or a um, like a fossil red logos that'd be kind of cool just a weird just have like a weird variation or even a case of the generations prototype boxes because i've only seen those individually so i don't know if they ever made cases but i, I think those would be kind of like cool display historical pieces anthony said i'm definitely allergic to shellfish too Instant hospital trip and near death experience. Well, see, it's stuff like that that I hear every now and then. It's just like, yeah, there's there's no reason for me to go and try lobster when I don't even like it. If I do like it, it's going to be very expensive, you know, going forward. And then of course, if I have an allergic reaction, still, um, now I'm going to have to taste. I'm going to want it, but I can't have it, and you know, I might die. So it's just like all bad things. Like there's nothing really good that can come from it unless I'm not allergic and I can have it whenever I want and I like it. But then even then it's just burning a hole in my wallet. African veteran said, yo Rusty, what about iced coffee? 
See, I had that, uh, what was it, like a mocha frap with like extra chocolate or whatever from McDonald's. Those are those are okay, but that's what actually made me want to have like the, make my own, the Coco Amor thing. Because uh, my wife took me to this place in the mall called Emerson's. And it cost like eight bucks to have it done there. But they would blend it really well and it had a much thicker, smooth taste. And so I was like... Hey, how do I make this? And they were like, oh, you just buy this mix right here. I go online. It's like Cappuccino Supreme or something. And it's got all these different flavors, but you can order a, an eight ounce bag of the powder. And then you just mix the powder. Or it's like a two pound bag of powder. I can't remember. Uh, you just mix the powder with your own milk and ice. And you have an instant right there. You don't have to pay anybody tip or anything like that. It's like a dollar in cost. So like, I think I added up all the materials with the milk and that kind of stuff. Look, a backwards upside down breloom. So that's the closest I get to the iced coffee thing. Then McKay Brew says calamari is S tier. Isn't that octopus? Why do they call it calamari? Is that just like a type of octopus? I should know this since I've, I've watched. I used to watch National uh, Geographic and all these different things. I used to love reading those uh, Guinness World Book of Records, and man, when I was a kid, like you could get you could earn wooden nickels when you were in elementary school. Basically, that was where if you read a book, it's worth a certain amount of points. You get those points, and then at the end of the week, they'd give you they'd pay you out in wooden nickels, and those wooden nickels then you could spend at the store. And man, I would like I would just dog it. I would go through books. I'd go through like three or four books a day. But I would never get those really thick books because I didn't actually like reading. I'd get those National Geographic books where I could read through them really quickly. But because it was like all these big scientific words and stuff, it was considered on a higher reading level. So you got more points for it. So it was like one of those things where I could earn points like super fast. And then I'd get all these wooden nickels, as they call them. And then I could spend them at the store and get candy or these little monster things that would hold up uh, your pencil. You could stick them in and set them on your table, which I haven't seen those things in years. I don't, I don't know how that, how that come out of calamari. Just random tangent there. Mr. Mime is French said, yeah, this is my order. All right, so this is, oh, there we go. Robert. Good luck to you. I think you've still got some good stuff coming around the, the set. We've got you two full arts. I think you should get at least one more full art. I think maybe that first one only had two. An A spec and an art rare there. I think we've seen three full arts in each box. Maybe four in one of them. Anthony said it would be cool to see if there's an uncut sheet of Pokemon on the front and Magic the Gathering on the back, like that Arcanine you had years ago. Yeah, that would be cool. That was a German front. German base set on the front for Pokemon, and then on the back is just Magic the Gathering. Mr. Mariam is French. Next time you're in the hospital, try some shell shellfish from the cafeteria. Been in the hospital. You know, I, I went to the hospital a few times when I rolled my ankle. My mom basically made me. When I was a kid, I broke a few bones. It's been a while since I've been to the hospital. Maybe since I was 16. At least for myself, anyways. I've been for many other people. I can't. I don't know if I've been to myself for any other reason. <laughs> Surely I have. It's been almost 25, or 28, 28 years. Afton said, uh, pretty sure it's squid in Italian. Oh. Well, I thought it was octopus, so, so calamari is squid. Does squid have a shell? I, just, I can't eat shrimp, so I guess if that has a shell, I guess squid probably does too. Yeah, Set Seeker said it's a fancy name for squid. Does octopus have a weird fancy name? Mimic okay, Brew, I'm just going to let you pronounce my name wrong forever, still in honor. What do you want? Mimic brew? Mimic K brew? 
because programmer X, I've, I've said programmers for like, there's no Z there at all. It's an X. It's programmer X. It's like it's really clear. So just let me know how, I, how I'm supposed to be saying it. Unless you just wanted a uh, mimic a brew. Because it, it might it might just happen like that. Derek said, same even though I don't like reading on free book day, I would always get goosebump get the goosebump books collector in me since five years old. Man, my wife will sit down and read like a five hundred page book in two days. It's just like I mean you, these thick books, she's just sitting there reading, I'm like, What are you doing? She's like it's like watching a movie. I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> but people like it. And, you know, I don't know. I don't get it. I can't do that. Wish I could. Anthony said, new calamari. It's an Italian dish. Very popular there. And it's calamari there. Raging Bolt EX. There we go. Let's see how it goes over there, don't it? Derek said, free book day at school was sweet. <laughs> And Simon says, what about shrimp? Can you eat shrimp? No, I cannot eat shrimp. I mean, I might be able to, but I ain't going to chance it. I cook shrimp for my wife all the time. Well, maybe not all the time. Whenever she wants me to. Like, it's, we went to a, um, you know, those all-you-can-eat crab leg places at the beach. And I remember the first time I went to one, I was like, man, $40 for a buffet. I was like, man, I'm going to be eating my fill. And... I ended up eating just like a ton of barbecue and pizza and stuff. But my wife, man, she liked her some cra crab legs. And I, I cracked them things open for her. Like I would crack them and she'd eat them. And I'd crack them and she'd eat them. And that worked out pretty well. I didn't lick my fingers and I never reacted to it. So, All right, Robert, here you go, man. Looks like you picked up six regular EXs, two A specs. I got a new nephew as of uh, this past week. I think it was the 12th. So last Tuesday. There's your three EXs or full arts. Anthony, did y'all have Hank the Cow dog books in school or Junie B. Jones? I heard of Junie B. Jones, but I never read any. Anthony said, Rusty, do not eat squid. You have a deathly allergic reaction. Don't worry, it sounds it looks awful. Like I'm I'm okay not eating that. Like nothing about that looks appealing to me. <laughs> I'll, I'll go with my liver mush. People can make fun of me for that. The liver mush, egg and cheese, man, all day, all day. <laughs> all right, looks like Tommy, you are next. And I'm gonna start writing these out. All right, he picked up a temporal forces box as well. No bulk. This is order 5047. This should be, I think it's box number nine. I think I saw one more order in there for a box, so we may be sold out of the temporal forces. I gotta like manually capture all the charges right now until I make sure this guy who was carting, creating these fake accounts, buying stuff. Is done buying because now if it now if he does then I can just be like okay I don't want your payment I don't actually capture it and it just declines the authorization. All right, here we go. All right, so mimic mimic brew like mimic you. Okay, well I guess that makes sense, especially since you showed coffee and stuff in the beginning. Mimic Brew. This is going to sound crazy, but I didn't forgot what your other channel was before they made you uh, pull the pokey out of it. It's crazy how uh, quickly that kind of stuff can leave your mind. Tommy, you in here, buddy? Go said no delicious crab boil for Rusty. Who knows? Maybe one day. Just not happening anytime soon. All right, there's some more sleeves. Hold on, let me pop my day. Mm. I could feel it. 
There's a giraffe again. That's right. Cardboard King of Mass. How's the new set? What do you guys think? How do you feel about this new set? Seems to be pretty okay. It's got some cool cards in there. I don't think there's anything like crazy stand out, but I like it. Derek said, King Crab Legs are awesome. Anna knows what's up. She's actually got some in the, um, the freezer right now. It's the first time I've ever seen her order those things. Mo, what's up, man? Good to see you in here. Mattitude, I like doing the highlights magazines. Oh, yeah, I used to do them. Find the hidden objects in the big picture. Also, where's the Where's Waldo? I like doing those in the, uh, the I Spy books or whatever where they had a bunch of stuff hidden, but they were actually challenging, not the super easy ones. So very similar to the highlights. <clears throat> John, John Palin says, I'm happy the SIRs are harder to pull because it's it, it'll help them retain their value. Yeah, as long as they actually look good, too. Mo was saying hey to everybody. Set Seeker was, was about to say, ouch, Mo, LOL. The Ghastly is fire. The AR. Pokey Dan, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, I know it got changed from something like that. Derek L. said, who knows, taste change. I didn't like onion and peppers as a kid, but I love them now. I am right there with you. I mean, I kind of like, I mean, I like black pepper, but I didn't really like other peppers. And I definitely didn't like onion, but um, man, I eat onion on my pizza now. Sometimes, I don't always. I don't like it when they cut all stringy. I like it chopped up. Sean says, this is my first time seeing the set opened. Well, we pulled two two gold cards. Are there six? Are there one for each of the like three futures and three ancients? Tommy said he is here. What is up, dude? What are you hoping to pull? Tommy said, nice neck crack. Man, it felt good. I need to do something about my back. Apparently, I got like this little... Uh, Instead of my spine being like that at the very top well we'll just say from the at the top there's like three vertebrae that just kind of jutted out to the side for, for whatever reason like i don't know why and now i can like always kind of feel it in my chest on that right side through the lung and it's uh i think part of it has to do with my, my terrible posture too like right now i'm trying to sit up but how i really want to sit is like this and then just just slumped <laughs> like that's how i feel like sitting Tommy said he wants a giraffe. Anthony, I think the evolving skies of the Scarlet Vet, of Scarlet and Violet will come out in the fall. I feel like that major set hasn't released yet. Well, I guess we'll have to we'll just see. First, you just ate dinner after fasting a whole day for Ramadan, and the it is is hitting hard. Man, I probably I probably read that wrong. <laughs> I don't I don't I always mess something up there. Or it might be something really simple that I'm missing. Like earlier somebody said uh Hugh when it was obviously hug. I think it was cow love. Fasting is something that I've just never never tried to do. I eat so often and snack. Trump and Dad says, best mods in the game. I like it. Tommy said this set looks better than Rift. And to not eat fish. <laughs> There's Heroes Kate. Derek L., did anyone else see Solar Eclipse yesterday? I tried to watch it, but it was, but it was all overcast in the Northeast. Man, I just missed it. Like, I don't have much news going on. Peek at you, Rusty. Hope you are well, my friend. Congrats on the Dubsy shout out. Yeah, uh, it was an honor. I can't believe he stuck me in that list, especially with all the people that are out there, you know. And he's like a high end trophy grill kind of collector. And I've never really been like the that kind of trophy collector. At least I think he is. I think I'm wrong. 
I know he collects some set stuff, or he has set stuff as well, but he's the one who sold the, the Pika, Pikachu, right? The PSA 10? I could be wrong on that. I don't know. But yeah, that was a true honor. Really cool. Very kind words he put in there. Richard says he is in Australia. Good morning to you. It's nighttime here. Ghost said your spine is messed up from all the airtime done. <laughs> Well, I'm actually trying to work on my jump a little bit, and today I couldn't do as much like jumping as I wanted to because my shoulder was like messed up. And when I go to max, try to max out my vert, like I always throw my arms, like like you go down and your arms go up with you. It was just hurting my shoulder. So I, I iced my shoulder for the first time in my life today just to see if I can get that thing un to untweak. When I was reading online, it's like it's possible that there's just some tendons that have pushed over the shoulder blade and it's, you know they're just kind of like inflamed or something so man i know nothing about that stuff but i am starting to feel my age a little bit so i've been trying to do some sprints and things tommy said i've got the same back problems i have a buffalo hump slouch as well i'm not gonna let it happen to no buffalo hump oh, on, i'm gonna push it back I got one of those neck things. Like I started talking about, you know, neck problems with my wife. And, you know, Alexa was around. And next thing I know, I'm being advertised, you know, those little, uh, they're like a little hump or whatever that you just put underneath your neck. They're made out of foam. And, you know, I use that thing. I mean, it's all right, but I don't use it enough. I've used it some. It requires you to lay still on the floor for like 10 minutes. Like when I, when I get done with the day, I'm ready to jump in the bed and just chill out. Itis. Itis. Oh, there we go. That's a little better. I knew I messed it up, Mo. We saw a regular full art Gengar. A few, a few uh, half arts. All right, last pack for Robert, and then we'll jump back in here and look at what you got here. All right, so we got the Chatot there. I think we should probably have another art rare here. Oh yeah, there's a Shifty there, Shiftry. That would have been in that stack. Looks like you picked up five regular EXs, but you got two A specs. And then for the full arts, you got three full arts there. You got, oh, I was about to say, is that the same one? No, it's not. You got the Iron Crown and the Iron Leaves, and you got an Incineroar. All right, Mr. Tommy. Pick that you says yes he sold the illustrator he's got an insane collection dave probably rivals him in trophies but dubsy has a crazy amount of high level graded card set cards and trophies yeah see i mean i've got a lot of cool graded cards but when it comes to that kind of stuff i don't, I don't really even compare to some of those guys i think the only thing that i really have in my collection that i don't know if anybody having like more high end stuff is uncut sheets. That'd probably be the only thing. Yeah. And that's just because I got lucky on that stuff, and I don't really know because there's a lot of uncut sheets that have come out. So it wouldn't surprise me if there are people who have uh, more of those. All right, Matthew, you are next. Set. Uh, I am seeing that your order was canceled. So I don't know if you. Uh, that come through on your end but matthew's next and then uh daniel after that all right so matthew picked up looks like 30 151 packs we are keeping the bulks so we're going to need one so 30 packs would be looks like i think four of these This is order 5049. I'm gonna just do it that way. Let's do one of four, two of four. Man, when the stuff poofs up, it makes my handwriting sloppy, especially with a marker. 
We're just going to set these off to the side. And I got to get 30 packs out. Should be more than 30. Because usually, if I. My fingers are pretty stretched, then I can grab box lot 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Yeah. How many did I grab? 33, 36. I grabbed 40 bags. Payment captured and it is on hold. All right. Sorry if I missed you in the chat. Farthest back I can see is Cardboard Kingdom. How are your knees, Rusty? I believe we are all the same age. And I've always played basketball. My knees are completely fried. My knees are still pretty good. Like, I can, uh, man, I'm always jumping off of stuff. There's something I never really kind of let up on. Like, I could fall. I mean, I could probably fall. I mean, I, we've got these set of stairs that beside our church that are all concrete. It's probably 10 or 12 stairs. Every time I go by them, I, like, I leap them and people look at me like I'm crazy. Especially since I'm 33. You know, I'm not like a, a young kid, a spring chicken getting out there leaping those things. Anthony, I wish the YouTuber only collectibles would show off his collection. He has every Grail card and multiple of them. Yeah, he's he's pretty big. He's got some crazy stuff. Zepto CX. There we go. Haven't seen one of these in a while from our, our 151 packs. I do like the Pokemon clocks. That's um. I wouldn't. I believe there should be a New Jersey silver version. I've got all the. I've got the New York version. I've got several of those. I have never actually seen the New Jersey version, but I know someone who has. And I wish I could get a hold of that one. <clears throat> Coach said, "Oh yeah, my knees are shot. Football and basketball did me in there. I want to be jumping forever. My knees have held have held out." Anthony said, "You have a pre-release right you. I do have a pre-release right you." But one card doesn't rival, you know, all the crazy stuff that's out there. Derek said, my lower back always messed up too many years lifting with my back and not my legs. <laughs> it's weird. Like, I can, I can squat down, you know, with my heels on the ground and put, you know, stick my elbows and arms completely under my knees, like almost bring my face to the floor. Like, it almost feels better for me to squat, like, with my butt almost all the way on the ground, you know, like full weight on my back. I haven't squatted in a while, but um, every now and then I'll get on the bench and I'll just pull off the, you know, pull off the bar with the weights and, uh, you know, just do a few squats, but nothing crazy. And, um, but I can't touch my toes. Like I can't go the other direction. My, my the tendons behind my, my knees and that are connect my calves and uh, the thighs, like they're just so tight. If I slightly bend my legs, like I can, put both hands you know all the way through on the floor behind my my heels but it takes me having to bend my feet bend my knees a little bit to be able to do that if I, if I lock out those knees it ain't happening ab games hey what's up tca what's up man we didn't get any snow this year uh. Set Seeker, my bad everyone. Wife's getting on my case. I'm looking to buy the 25th Japanese box next week. Hopefully never open that one. Have fun with it, Giovanni's Charisma. Richard, looking forward to opening some Chinese EV heroes. Fat Boy boxes, 25 cards per pack when they arrive. One SR per box. Go for it, man. Enjoy the evolving skies in Chinese because in English, it's, it's starting to finally take off. Like we knew it, it hit that lull at 400 for a while, four and 500. We knew it wasn't going to stay there. Matthew says, what order is this? Uh, this is for Matthew, order 5049. I believe it's for Matthew, or maybe I just read your name, but this, this might be yours. It's 3151 packs. 
I've got to be able to uh, make sure I get all of the bulk along with it. Yeah, I didn't mean there, did I? No, I didn't. All the bulk still sitting to the side. Set Seeker says, hoping TCA can pull me the sparkly Charizard. <laughs> that would be fun. Get all these in here. Uh, there's the first one. Derek said, we didn't really either. A couple big snowstorms early, but last two months, basically nothing. Only rode my snowmobile twice. Well, a snowmobile around here, I mean, nobody's ever... Nobody has snowmobiles, so that would never happen. We have four wheelers. We're gonna whoop those things out you know, if it ever snows. But I'm I'm gonna blame it on El Nino and not hopelessness and global warming. So I, I needed to snow here because this is where I'm setting up camp for life. You know, I, I have a house, I've got a family. I'm ready for the snow to come back. Anthony says, hey, Rusty, do you have any other booster boxes with the acrylic cases in stock other than the Crown or 151? Uh, there should be some for Pokemon Go. I haven't done them for Paldi and Fates, but I guess I could. I want to say there's another set, too. Maybe Shining Fates. There's the Venusaur EX. Anthony said, what Pikachu is in that 25th Japanese box? Man, I don't even know. It might be multiple Pikachus. I've only opened up a few boxes, and I can't even remember what I opened up from that set. I would just uh, go to Bulbapedia and check out uh, what they got going on there. Nice looking Charmander. I think that Moltres Zapdos Articuno is still the best card we've pulled so far. Derek said, really warm winter weather, like 30s and 40s. Yeah, I mean, we never, if we have weeks where like the highs in the 30s or 40s, you know, that's, that's usually a rough week for our winners here. There have been days in the past where we've had highs in the 20s and teens, but pretty rare. Derek said, global warming has to be real. I'm, de I'm denying it, even though it keeps getting warmer. <laughs> you used to get snow all the time. Anthony said, snowing in Jersey right now, unfortunately. Well, enjoy it. Quit rubbing it in. It's good, man. I realize if you guys get snow all the time, it probably, probably is no fun, especially if you can't go out and just ride your four-wheeler around wherever you're at. I imagine the city, it's no fun. Derek said, I remember when I was a kid, snowbanks were 10, in, 10 feet tall. Man. African veteran, I can definitely feel climate change here. We had warm weather last couple of weeks. Yeah, I mean, we had it was 80 degrees last week, but then we, had, we got frost this morning. Ghost said, I remember breaking world records up here at Mount Baker when I was a kid. Now, not so much. What record did you break? Set Seeker said, no snow here in Minnesota. What? <clears throat> Derek said, we may get one more storm. Last year, I remember we got six to eight inches. Got a six to eight inch one on April 1st. Ooh, another nice looking card. Got the Alakazam. One of my favorite cards in the set. It's, I think that one beats out the Moltres Zapdos Articuno. And last pack. I'm gonna finish with a Psychic Energy. It's going to match up with the Alakazam. 
All right, let me get all these packaged up, and then I think, who did I say was next? Daniel or something like that? Ghost said, we have a Guinness World Record for the deepest snow base of any resort in North America. <laughs> in North America. All right, so you had all these energies. And then these were your ultras, which I think your first and your last were probably the best, Alakazam and the Zapdos. Those were my favorite anyways. What about you guys? Next order, we have Daniel. Let's see what he picked up. He picked up 10 151 packs as well, which I think we should have exactly 10 right here. 3, 6, 9, and 10. Let me capture that payment. So, Daniel, if you're in the chat, let us know. This is order 50 50. He is from New York. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. Maybe it's snowing there. He won't bulk. Yes, he did. So we're going to do one out of two and then a two out of two. Maybe that'll help me remember. African veteran said, I heard about that flood in New York City a few months back. Got flooded out. And I watched. If it's on the news, I probably didn't hear about it. Jinx EX. Matthew said, no snow in Florida right now. I hear you. I love spring and fall. I like where I'm at that we can get all four seasons. Usually, anyways, we still get, I mean, decently cold. We've got a winter, but no snow, it just doesn't feel like it. All right, 151, it's time to hit. Got a jinx so far. little Caterpie and a grass energy to go along with it. Last pack. Nothing there. We'll give him a grow. We'll give him an extra pack. He had, he had two hits plus two energies, which isn't too bad for four backs, but let's make sure he gets five. Let's give him a fifth hit. African Vetter says he's working outside in negative 10 degrees. <laughs> Who wants to work outside in that? I definitely do not. I'm not going to throw the extra bulk in there, but. We'll get you, we're going to go to, we'll get you one more hit. I'm kind of determined now. Let's hit a dry spell. Well, it's another jinx. And you got a lightning energy to go along with it. It wasn't much. 
Maybe a duplicate jinx and a lightning energy. Let me get all these in the cases now. There we go. Bam. We'll split it right there. Kind of sound like I hit the spring in the Yeti. John Powlin, member for six months. Six months. Yeah, you're the man, Russ. <laughs> well, I appreciate the support. I love your uh, your picture there with that Mewtwo. It's my favorite artwork, man. I remember that one as a kid. I don't even remember pulling it from a pack, but I remember having the card. It takes me back to uh, Whitewater Lake. I think that was the name of it. There was a kid I met there. We just we just we just kind of clicked. Played in the arcade. Went over to his house. He came over to well went over to his place where he was staying. The little camper. He came over to my camper. We rode bikes. We raced. We played basketball. Uh, I ended up going out with his family on a boat. Kind of crazy to think about all that. Okay, I think that is it. So I'm gonna go to the Nightbot now. We're gonna do a giveaway for you guys. I think we're gonna do a shiny treasure box. And so, for the keyword, we're just going to make it shiny treasure. This is like the Japanese Paul D and Fate. And if you're a member, you'll be twice as <clears throat> likely to win than a non-member. But all you have to do to enter the giveaway is put shiny treasure into the chat. And as long as you do that only one time, then uh, you'll, be, you'll, be, you'll be entered in for the giveaway. That's all you got to do. So you just copy and paste that in there. You're going to see everybody kind of flooded it into the chat if you've never done this before. Like I said, just do it once. If you do it more than once, you might get uh, booted out from the anti-spam filter. But I'm going to open up the box. Any of the hits will go to one lucky winner. And if you're wanting to get in on an opening tonight, uh, now would be the last chance to do that. I will refresh the page one more time after we do this end of stream giveaway. Um, so... If there's anybody else who buys in, then it won't actually be the end of the stream, and we'll just keep going. Ghost said, Dr. Smatter. <laughs> Sorry, man. I thought about putting that in there as a keyword. I should have. I guess I should have. All right. Pack number one. We've got that guy and that guy. I can't even tell what's going on there. Must be getting old. <laughs> Set secret said, never seen or opened this set before. To my shiny treasure? Oh, is this a god pack? <laughs> oh, I think it's a god pack. We got a Wug Trio, a Wing Gull. Is that a. I don't even know that dude's name. Lucario. Maybe it's a Bisharp. Toad Scroll. It's a Primate, but something that's not actually Primate. The Remoraid, maybe. And then we get three SSRs. <laughs> Look at that. First time we've hit a god pack with shiny treasures, I believe. So we're going to sleeve all these up. <laughs> so now, you're going to have extra hits for this box. I didn't notice how they did the, the God Packs. Just a bunch of shinies. Along with the single art rare in the beginning. Got to stick the Wug Trio in there, right? It's pretty cool. Is that Quabba Quapple, Gardevoir, and Noivern? Max Mofo would be proud. Derek L, member for 11 months. Dumptress for the win. Chris Spirit given in the God Pack. <laughs> I hear you on that one. I hear all of you guys. The Dumptress. I wonder if we'll still get a regular SAR in the box. We'll find out. Mo said, Rusty should get some One Piece uh, TCG products. I thought about it. I was offered some of that stuff, but man, I don't know anything about One Piece. There's the Dumptress for you guys, <laughs> the Fortress. Ken X says, Shiny Treasure. 
he made it in here. Got the slow bro and a quapple quapple EX. High class boxes, man. You've always got that, that little bit of chase in there. Skeledurge EX. Two packs to go. Get Lorcana. Oh, Disney. Oh, look, we still get an, uh, an SSR. Glamora EX. Last pack. Here we go. Set Seeker. Any spoiler alerts? A new product for future streams. No, I don't think so. Not that I can think of. All right, let's see who goes, who's going to win. Anthony Ells Becker. You are the winner. Congratulations, man. You won a God Pack, too. Well, the contents of a God Pack. Yeah, all you got to do to cl claim this is send me an email. Let me know who you are, what you won, and that's it. Well, I need your address, too. So, and I will pay for that. So anybody claiming that uh, you need to pay shipping or something. It's not for me. I'm sure all those, what were they called? The, um, yeah, I can't remember those, those claim things that would come in there. Some kind of like weird mail. They'd spam out all the comments saying you won and then they want you to send them, send them money. Okay. All right, so it does look like two more orders did come in. So congratulations, Anthony. Make sure you send me an email. Uh, it should be there at the top of the screen. Uh, but it's not going to be the end of the stream. Looks like we do have two more orders that come in, so we're going to go ahead and do those. Let's see what we got here. I think Mo may have bought in. Oh, yeah, Mo, he just bought a shiny treasure box himself. We just hit a God Pack box, Mo. We, we probably won't hit another one, but who knows, right? I think that's the first one we've hit. I gotta capture the charge and then I gotta update it. Let me find it. Well, these are probably from different big boxes, anyways, because I stuck, I had one that was stuck over here and then I just grabbed that last one from a random box behind me. So it's possible, I guess. All right, here we go. Everybody wish Mo luck. Maybe he'll get the, the next God pack. <laughs> Be cool to do it two in a row. Go said, we've stayed at 77K. Yes, we have. It's fluctuated a little bit, <laughs> but, but yes, we have stayed there. All right, pack number one. That looks like, uh, I don't know his name, but it's some kind of version of Don Fan. Right? Right? <laughs> Am I thinking, is there an evolution for Don Fan? Got a nice little Mew EX. Good luck, Mo. Pack three. Got a shiny that guy, and... Is that the Mirrodon? I think that's Mirrodon. I've got to get these new Pokemon down. Great Tusk. That's right. Great Tusk. Ooh, we got a Charizard and some kind of Baby Shiny. West Prax says he missed a giveaway. <laughs> Sorry, man. It was a God Pack. <laughs> Limit and Mirrodon. So there's that. Is that that? I don't think that's Great Tusk anymore. That's something else. Right? Or is it? <laughs> I think that's probably going to be the. Yeah, that's the SSR. But we did have. We had an SSR with the last one. So I guess that leaves a, a glimmer of hope for a, uh, a God Pack. 
Now it's something I'm going to think about when I'm opening these things up. Iron treads. Alright, so there's iron treads and great tusk. I should know this set because we've opened up so much Paul D and Fates. Skeledurge. I know that one. Got the Gardevoir. The new set is what? Iron Valiant or something like that? I think that's Quabble Quaffle. One more. For Mo. That that Iron Treads again. So it looks like your big one was or your SSR was the Iron Treads. Sorry Mo, no guy pack. Oh, cool looking other shiny for for oh wait this goes in here actually yeah I think I saw another order in too so we'll go ahead and continue with that one Clown Dragon, Hose Nose. Y'all just throwing the names out there, huh? Alright, Andrew. Saw this was the last box on the site. You gotta open it, right? I was wondering, I thought I had one more. So this is Andrew. I imagine he got the yeah, he got the Temporal Forces box. That was his shout out. I think I forgot the blink. Oh, let me get a little drink of Gatorade while my eyes clear up. The charge is captured. I feel like once a, a video I get this little moment where my eyes want to water for some reason. It's like I get something in there. And then I catch my second wind. Pokey Chef says, just saying what up Rusty and everyone hope all is well. Yeah, I think I just listened to you and um, you know, Pokemon Wonder. I think that's where you were. I got to listen through, I think maybe a third or half of it, so I still got some left to listen to, but it was definitely a good listen so far. Pokeshift, did I hear you say you were based in Raleigh? Maybe, I was, maybe it was Pokemon Wonder. Maybe it was both of you. Ooh, double hit. Reboot pad and a Meltan. Okay, looks like my uh, sleeves are upside down. That's the one. Derek said, man, this is like our second one. What a ball. <laughs> Bitter beings. Hey, Rusty, you end up buying one of your heavy base set packs, but not right away. Or I will open, but not right away. I'll let you know what I pulled. Please do. Somebody earlier pulled the, uh, the Raichu. Pokeshift says he is in Raleigh. Definitely have to uh, look you up next time we come into town. Because I think you had said something about your restaurant after I told you we had visited Jim and we went out to eat a few places. Anthony said they should make an SSR Gengar with a chef hat cooking in the kitchen. I can deal with that. I think everybody would be fine with that. Wug Trio. Anybody else tired of Wug Trio already? Man, this thing, this guy is all over the place, it feels, or it seems. Now, I filled up pretty good on cookout earlier, but I'm, get, I'm feeling the hunger now. 
I might have to get me a snack when I go home. This right side of the box hasn't been too kind. Derek L said no Wug Trio is awesome. <laughs> There's your Gengar. Pokey Chef, what's the name of your restaurant? Do a little snooping around. Grottle. Wait, wrong stack. Put this one over here. I'm with you. I'm with you, ghost. This will be the first half of the box. No full art so far. They must all be on the left side. At least they better be. I better get some full arts. Derek said, what you all don't see underneath is, or underneath the sand, what tree is a thousand feet, a thousand feet long. And a monster like a Gyarados just wait and see. Bianca's Devotion. I'm going to say that's got to be a pretty good card. Is that a Masharna? Is that the only Pokemon? Or is this... Who knows? That's a, that's a flower, but it might be a Pokemon. Because it's so big. I think those are the only two Pokemon I see. Capital Grill. I want to say that was a place we had uh, we saw in the places to eat when we were looking up places in Raleigh. But maybe not. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I just make things up in my own head. Like it sounds similar. Cause I can't remember everywhere that I looked up. But. If it's a pretty well-known place, I'm sure it did come up in, in that list. Iron Leaves EX. I thought so too, Andrew. There's the Gengar. Full art. This should have been the ghost box. We get another one. It's the Wug Trio. <laughs> it's the left side. We have a Deerling. Last time we got a Deerling, we also got the Saul's Buck. Man, I could eat a hot dog too. Nice chili dog. That's what I typically get from cookout. Give me some chili dogs, double cheeseburger, I like the fries. Man, I like their chicken quesadilla. Pokey Chef, I'm a pretty simple guy. If your capital grill is real fancy, because I mean. If you like an actual chef there, I'd probably have to go with the simplest thing you got on there, other than chicken tenders. I'm not, I'm usually not a chicken tenders fan. My kids just eat it so much. <clears throat> well, all right. So you got three regular art rares. Here are your EXs, your A specs, six two, and then your three full arts. I wasn't too bad of a box, Andrew. Yeah, I am getting hungry. How does Wug Trio move around? That's a good question, Anthony. 
they probably turn on their head like a executor. All right, guys, looks like that will be it for the stream. I do not see any more orders that have came in. I've really enjoyed everyone who's uh, jumped in here. We did sell through all 10 of the Temporal Forces boxes. Uh, so next week I will make more available. Probably only be a case if you want to make sure you get in. Just buy a little early. Uh, we did. Uh, I will try to offer out some more. I don't know something different, uh, just so that we have a, a something new to come in here. Might be something that we've offered in the past, um, or it may just be like a regular set. And you guys did buy in a little bit of rift, but maybe we'll do like paradox, um, Paulian, not Paulian fates. Uh, what was the second set? Paul D evolved. That's what it was. Or, you know, like an older Sun and Moon set. I did get in some stuff from Rattle. Uh, so maybe I'll uh, see what he has there. And maybe we can offer out like an Evolving Skies box or something cool like that. But, guys, good night. I'll see you guys all next Tuesday. Uh, be on the lookout for more videos. If I, I don't know if I'm going to have any this week or not. But if I do, uh, I'll try to put them out in the, you know, the regular form content. And uh, definitely appreciate the support.